Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you some of the upgrades I did on my sim rig since I showed it to you last and I'll give you a quick update on the Corvette. So with the Corvette, I took it out for two track days. Uh, the first one went pretty well. The car felt really balanced. All the upgrades I did felt really good, but I had some issue going from fourth to third. Um, thought it was a clutch hydraulic uh, master cylinder issue, so I replaced that, changed all the fluids out, and uh, worked through that system a little bit, and took it out for the second track day. And when I went to uh, shift out of fourth into third uh, on one of the later sessions uh, when everything was super warm it just wasn't coming out of gear so right now I'm working through that issue I think it's um, something to do with the internals of the transmission but we'll have an update on that soon so back to the sim rig uh, I'm going to give you a quick rundown and walk through through the sim rig and some of the upgrades I did we'll start with the back first um, we have this NRG seat uh, that I added. I had a different seat on it uh, that was actually meant to go in a car and I had to sell the car and the seat went with it. So this seat um, is meant to go in a car I think but I wouldn't use it in a car. Um, we'll go to the back here. I added these LED lights. Um, I added this Ethernet port instead of wireless connection to my computer which has helped a lot with uh, the internet aspect of iRacing and having a good signal uh, I mounted these little sensors for the VR and added these wall mounts for my wheel that I 3D printed from Thingiverse. So the CPU is the same as last time. I just added another internal hard drive SSD for my flight simulator which takes a ton of storage. Um, onto the pedal box I did uh, Hall Effect sensors. I added those and replaced the old sensors that were in there for the gas and the clutch pedal. So now I have a nice clean signal um, into the computer. Um, and then for the load cell, I added these bushings, which are uh, adjustable. Obviously you can, the different colors mean a different shore hardness and that will allow you to kind of um, spec it out how you like it. And uh, I like it now the way it is. So I'll have links in the description for those. Then. This uh, monitor, LG, I think it's a 34 inch ultra wide and it's great when I'm not running VR and I want to run um, something, this is obviously not sitting perfect, but if I wanted to make it sit a little better, I could do something like that and then push it down or whatever you need to do. Since it's wall mounted, uh, the ultra wide is definitely my favorite. Um, I could do triples in the future now that we have more room in this room. Um, but, uh, the ultra wide works really well. There's a little curve to it, but not a ton. Uh, and I'm not sure if they still sell this one, but they sell something like it. Definitely good if you're going to do endurance racing and then the VR stuff for anything that's like 45 minutes or less, I use VR and now to the CSLDD, this thing was definitely the best upgrade um, I've done so far, along with the wheel, the formula wheel. And uh, one thing I do like about the CSLDD that no one really mentions is that on the end stops, it's just digital. So when you have a kid like I do and he tries to push it past the end stop, it's not gonna break anything. And then the formula V3 wheel is definitely my favorite so far of the upgrades along with the DD, I would say. And then the button box, which I 3D printed. The buttons I got off Amazon, the little USB board that's inside I got on Amazon, and I made it for about 35 bucks. So it's a good uh, budget build. So there's some budget stuff on the rig and some non-budget stuff on the rig. Okay, so that's about it on the sim rig. Hope you enjoyed seeing some of the upgrades I did on it since you saw it last and uh, I will have some of those links on the parts I was talking about earlier in the description. And if you have any comments or questions, just leave them in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.